So today we're going to do something a little different. So I had this project given to me by a rancher. I was out doing some work at his place and I asked him about this old motorcycle he had sitting out there and he told me I could just take it home with me. So today we're going to see if we can get it to fire up and run. We'll clean the carburetor, put some fresh gas in it. It's already had an oil change, so we'll just clean her up a little and see if she'll fire. Maybe take her for a little dig. So stay with me and we'll get right into it. All right, so this bike I got, it's a XR250R, so let's see here. We're going to get down and we're going to get the carburetor out, get it cleaned up. i got to clean up a few more other little things, but I had to clean the air cleaner box out first thing first because this right here, there's a whole, like, I think there's like a dead mouse and a whole bunch of pieces and a whole bunch of seed. I think it's alfalfa seed or something. So that was all in the air cleaner box. So I ordered a new air cleaner. I haven't received it yet. But I'm sure this bike will run. These old Hondas always fire up and run. They just parked it. It's been parked for around 10 years. Inside of a barn. Where it's not been getting any sunlight or getting damaged really. So I have a feeling we're going to be able to get this thing to start up fairly easy. So stay with me and we'll do that. But also... I mean, just walking around this thing, you know, there's the air cleaner box. It's all cleaned out inside now. But this thing, I mean, it's got new tires on it. It's got disc brakes all the way around. And it's got aftermarket headlight, which is really quite dirty. So we'll clean some of this stuff up. Maybe we'll, I don't know, we'll figure out something to do with this bike once we're done. Maybe I'll ride it around a little bit. It's only been used ever probably just to change sprinklers and things like that on a farm. So, well, we'll get right into it and we'll tear that carburetor out and get it all ready to go. So, stay tuned. Carburetor on this would be pretty easy to get out. I mean, you got two screws and then just the, the cable that runs into it here. So... We'll get the cable undone, get the carburetor out, and we'll go from there. And I'll bet you we can have this thing running in the next probably hour or so. So I decided to try something. So the gas that's in there, it's probably 10 plus years old. It still smells like it might burn. I'm wondering if I should try to start with that old gas just for the hell of it before we tear into it and clean the carburetor to see if it will start. So... Let me get this back on a tripod and we'll give it a try and see what it'll do. All right, so I haven't added any fresh gas or anything to this yet. So we'll just we'll see if it's going to fire up. Is it good? Who knows? Gas is probably off. on So I got to take out these two bolts that hold the carburetor on. Let's get them.
Well, there's some so far. Pretty nasty yellow crap, but very minimal water in it. Keep getting more out. Here's what we got last of it right there. No water in that one, so. It's getting a little hot in my shop today, but I'm going to have to run and get some gas real quick. Come back. I just checked the oil and everything. Um, I'm going to take this thing and try to see if it'll run. If I put a little fresh gas in it and see how it rides. So stay tuned for that. Do a little gas in there so we can go try it out. So we'll give her a try here in a second all right everybody so i got my helmet out and cleaned it up real quick because i haven't wore it in like two years because i haven't been on anything so we'll go for a little ride for a minute and see how this thing's gonna run so stay tuned for that <laughs> I think that about concludes that so we know it runs i think i got a little over full in oil i need to drain a little out but the carburetor it seems to run okay the jetting seems to be all right so i guess we'll just probably clean out the get the everything else cleaned up on it clean the fuel tank a little bit more it's fuel tank's not too bad inside so but I did get a little over full in oil. But I guess not bad for sitting for 10 plus years and kind of being junk, just sitting there. Not gonna ever, they would never got it going again. So it's nice of them to give it to me. So, but we'll do a little more to it. Probably we'll probably clean it up, make another video. 
I just wanted to be able to see if it was going to run or not. So we got that part figured out. It's not too bad of a little bike. It's in good shape. So I guess that's about it for that one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Well, everybody, that about wraps it up for this video. There will be some more stuff we do on that bike. But we'll probably clean it up a little bit. Maybe even do some rings on it or something later. But we'll clean it up and make it where it's rideable so we can take it up on the mountain and mess around with it and stuff. So stay tuned and I'll just keep posting a few videos of the progress as we go a little bit here and there. But I got some other big projects that I probably got to get to first. Because with work and everything, my time's kind of limited. I've got evenings, about an hour in the evening I can work on something or maybe a Saturday or whatever. But So if you're, li if you're liking what you're watching, please subscribe. It'll help the channel grow so that we can do some even funner, bigger projects. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.